back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to discuss Euro, Canadian Dollar, Japanese Yen, Australian Dollar and British Pound. Uh, for analysis of gold and silver and it is a very exciting analysis that we are expecting in gold and silver you can join me on my Patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. So if you are really interested in gold and silver, it is going through some very, very critical times. I would advise strongly to uh, pay attention to my Patreon analysis for gold and silver. Let's uh, get to the analysis of Forex and see where the markets are heading. Uh, first, we are going to discuss uh, Euro. And um, first of all, we need to discuss a couple of things. And I have discussed uh, previously in my uh, some of my videos as well. We need to understand that where the long-term swing is going so that we can pay attention to uh, smaller time frame analysis and we can ignore some smaller price movement as well. First of all, this trend line that you're seeing, the green line trend line, is very crucial. It's a historic trend line and we can see the test came right over here, another came right over here and right now we are kind of missing that trend. We are also on a daily time frame. Uh, we can see we have seen a double bottom forming. It's a very, very uh, solid support structure. We have seen price came with a bang and we are right now uh, formed a support structure. So what's happening? First of all, I believe that the next larger swing that we are seeing right now is upward. All right. I believe that we probably have completed already bottom. On a four hourly time frame, we can see there is important resistance that's coming on right now. So there is a possibility that we can actually see a pullback or might not see a pullback. The point here is that the larger trend now for Euro is upward. I'm bullish on Euro clearly against dollar index uh, DXY. That means that DXY is uh, going to be uh, weaker as compared to the dollar. US dollar is going to be weaker as compared to the Euro itself. So I'm bullish for uh, for this one. And the confirmation, if you absolutely want the confirmation that, okay, where do we get the confirmation and higher? Uh, so a couple of trends. First of all, the support line is very important, which is the support line of the previous trend that came downward. So a break of this is important. We need to get out of this uh, very important resistance area right over here. So that's why I'm saying uh, this region, as you guys pay attention to, uh, right this one right over here. And this is pretty important. We have seen quite a bit of uh, support coming in this right now. Could that act as a resistance or a temporary res resistance? There is a possibility. That's why I'm expecting this should can be a little pullback, but not necessarily. It does not need to be conditioned. Uh, so if you want to wait for pullback and then cross of this support area or resistance area, that will be indication. It will also be coming out of the support line uh, for the previous structure as well. That will be indication of a higher probability move upward, but the large swing right now, we are waiting for the uh, pullbacks or we are waiting for the positions to go long. And uh, let's see how the price action falls in a collective uh, price structure. For next few days, I'm going to be bullish on Euro. Canadian dollar is uh, shown a ready huge price. Uh, in once again, huge price movement. We can use the uh, the division tool right over here we can see five energy tool or the division tool right over here we can see the bounce came off around 87.5 percent uh, and we have seen a solid reversal so once again uh, let's delete that and see, talk about the price structures first of all we are in the if you look at the the previous support for this whole structure let me do this it'll be right over here so we can see that the price is kind of hovering around just uh, ready to pass through the support. So could there be a pullback? There could be a pullback because there's a lot of resistance in this area. But on a larger time frame, I'm expecting that as soon as the pullback has completed, then we are heading downward. So this is the major swing I'm expecting for can, uh, Canadian dollar is going to be Canadian dollar getting stronger against US dollar. All right. So the, remember, this is an upside down chart. Uh, so this is USD CAD. This is not CAD USD. And you can simply reverse the, the analysis on the chart. And uh, once again, for reversal, what will, when will we get a confirmation that we actually have seen a reversal already happening? First of all, the bounce is solid bounce. This is a daily time frame analysis. So it's a solid bounce. We can see that there is a lot of selling that came in in this region. And then we can use the confirmation tool to just become a confirmation that we have actually changed the trend now as long as prices are able to clearly confirm this area across this area which is 1.26 and a 
once again diagonal support as well that will be an indication that we have now a confirmation of the analysis that we are getting into so I'm bearish on this particular chart I'm expecting that Canadian dollar will become stronger against the US dollar Japanese Yen is at a very very interesting stage uh, we need to a little zoom out a little right over here and we can see that where are right now, uh, where are we right now uh, as you guys can see that we have seen kind of corrective uh, move right over here and this move that push has been happening very slowly but it went deep right so right now it's a very very good indication we can draw the uh, trend line right over here and we can also confirm that the trend line is very important so if you look at it in a simple nature we have an impulsive wave and a correction wave all the way down right over here so we are waiting for the prices to be impulsive right over here this is the larger time frame analysis once again I'm expecting that we are going to be bearish on the chart uh, we will be making uh, Japanese yen stronger against US dollar so this is what I'm waiting for a longer time this is weekly analysis but uh, we need to get into daily analysis this is a little too broader uh, for the purpose of trading so let's have a look at trading first of all we we need to understand we need to delete this we need to understand that when prices are going upward uh, give me a moment let me draw the trend line once again properly we need to uh, pay attention to one thing is that prices right now are closer to the trend line they are not away from the trend line so we are kind of seeing the slowdown in the price behavior as well the upside we can be like, like this one right over here we have seen a stronger price movement it's quite away from the trend support line right over here this one is quite away from the support line but right now we are getting closer to the support line so once once we look at the structure this particular bottom is very crucial which is 112.53 uh, if you zoom in further on a four time for a four hour time frame we can see there's a double top happening and it's pretty interesting let me see if we can get the data quickly all right so this double top is very important we can also see on a smaller time frame analysis on a four hour time frame analysis that this support is also broken right over here so there is a possibility that we might be seeing prices coming down uh, pretty soon my major concern is right now bearish on the chart I'm just waiting for the confirmation and we can actually wait for confirmation at we can use this uh, tool the support right over here this will be a given indication that we are actually turned down right from over here it's also confirming on a smaller time frame analysis if as long as price rates do not push in that regard uh, we are getting like more and more uh, more and more bearish outlook so we can fine-tune this one early this horizontal support a little more and we can use this support as well all right this kind of look like a corrective structure right over here so right now on larger time frame I am bearish on the chart and I believe that we probably have seen top already happening already and we should be heading down right for here uh, as far as the confirmation signal is concerned we need a little more room to play with uh, so I'm thinking the break of 114.50 would be a good indication that we have actually seen a top forming so this is once again uh, once prices fall below 112 we'll have a higher indication that we have completed the top right over here once again beware of the uh, corrective structures that's happening along in the trend the major swing uh, I'm expecting for uh, uh, Japanese yen is downward against US dollar Australian dollar is showing some very interesting pattern we have seen a very clear uh, flat flat correction that's happening right over here we can see a very clear flat I mean very clear pattern happening in here so I'm bullish on Australian dollar once again I'm expecting that US dollar will become uh, weaker against uh, Australian dollar or Australian dollar will become stronger against US dollar and this is much better uh, trading setup and we have much kind of an impulsive wave a correction another impulsive wave you're we expecting right now so this is what's happening on uh, Canadian dollar I mean on Australian dollar and it's, it's kind of the support the way the support is acting is giving us more uh, kind of clue that we are bullish on the on the chart could there be a possibility that we are looking for a pullback there is a possibility that we are looking for a full back because we are right now approaching a resistance line right over here so we this could be possible that we are could be looking for a pullback very soon and as soon as that pullback is complete on a smaller time frame we'll be expecting for the prices to go upward so we have already discussed uh, euro Canadian dollar Japanese yen Australian dollar let's have a look at British pound 
British pound is also uh, presenting a very, very interesting and clear uh, price behavior. We need to look at a historical price action. First of all, we can see that we have an impulsive movement right from over here. This impulsive movement is really good. And then we have a kind of flat correction right over here, which ended right over here. We have another impulsive and a corrective, giving us an indication that the next upward move is going to be solid. We are expecting a solid rally uh, in, in British pound against US dollar, giving us an indication, more indication that um, US dollar is going to get weaker in next few weeks. Uh, or next few days we can see at least. So I'm expecting a good swing in the price of British swing, uh, British dollar. We have seen also that the correction did not go as deep as we have seen in uh, some of other pairs. So giving us an indication that this is a uh, much better pair to trade in, much clearer indication. I'm um, bullish on British pound and uh, against US dollar. Once again, if you guys are interested in seeing my analysis, updated analysis on gold and silver, I do not have only, uh, I mean, I not only have the uh, the price target, but also the time target for gold and silver. And the analysis is pretty interesting and um, we have seen a lot of volatility in gold and silver. So if you want some clarification in that, you can come join me on my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. Have a good one and bye-bye.